Hey, what's going on, YouTube Dragon Show fans? I uh, just got back from a three hour drive round trip for picking up a collection. Had to go up into uh, uh, New York City, I'm in uh, Queens area, grab a, uh, a collection from uh, an estate. Um, pretty substantial amount of stuff. We got a pretty good run of second edition Forgotten Realms and Ravenloft items. Uh, some first edition, very little first edition, uh, AD&D, um, some novels, some miniature sets, uh, fifth edition, nice run of the books. Unfortunately, none of them were the limited edition ones. They're all the common covers. Um, the miniature sets are going to be very exciting. You can kind of see there, there's a Dark Sun and a, a Ravenloft set, uh, the Raupartha licensed ones, which are so, so seriously hard to get. We got some um, Good Forgotten Realms items. And uh, as I said, some Ravenloft, and there's some Spelljammer. Really nice run of Star Wars, both Wizards of the Coast and some D6 from West End Games in here. Uh, just some random stuff. There's like uh, the very beginning of Fantasy Flight item for Star Wars. <clears throat> Vasion of Theed, random, I don't know what that is. Uh, Monstrous Compendium binders. Probably the most interesting item of this collection was something I wasn't expecting. And, um, you know, there was a run of Dragon Magazines uh, and Dungeon Magazines in here. And uh, when we were packing them up, I noticed what they were being stored in. I thought they were just regular binders. But they're not. You know what these are? These are the RPGA slipcase binders. Stupidly rare. I think I've had one in 20 plus years come through my store and there are multiples in this batch here. So here you can see four of them um, and I think there's a couple more. So there's uh, some sun fading unfortunately to them. This one's really kind of grayed out but this one uh, must have been more on the interior so it's still got a lot of its blemish tint to it. But you know you don't find these very often. I had a tough time even looking them up on eBay to find any comps, and I was kind of surprised what they were going for even then. So, anyway, here's just a quick sneak peek of uh, a lot of stuff. We'll we'll dig into this uh, in more detail <coughs> as an unboxing, but uh, here a quick video just so you guys can uh, get a taste of what's coming. Finally, the drought is ending. Uh, I actually have another collection being worked out right now as well, so we can start getting some of this stuff checked in and restocking the shelves. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Take care, friends.